Welcome back to VFSN. We're here for round two back nine coverage of chapter three, Earth. This is it. We've made it. We are at the final stretch. Jack Kuiper's sitting pretty. Neg 15. This kid is going crazy. Eric Schubert, Neg 10. James Glinsky, Neg 10. Neither of them are out of it. And we have JP, the local, sitting at Neg 9. I mean, it's anybody's ball game, but this field is so tight. Tyler, five stroke differential, so many opportunities to find that birdie bogey split. Tell us about hole 10. All right, hole 10, this is uh, another one of those holes where it's uh, it could be a two, it could be a five, it could be anything. You really just gotta hit this gap and uh, a right hand back end is going to filter into the basket. Something overstable will usually get you there. It's so nice to have you doing hole previews, talking about using overstability to go left. I'm always throwing weirdly understable discs on massive hyzers to go left. Hmm. It's nice to get that normal perspective in the booth. Absolutely. Now that shot from Jack, it looked pretty good. Um, anything down there is, is, is in good, good territory for, uh, for how much of a lead he has. James Ooh, Kalinske yeah. still bringing those fire vibes. <laughs> yes, James. Oh, get some nice gap. Winter round. Oh. Anything is possible with the power of positivity. I cannot wait to see what happens to this five stroke lead over the next five holes. And the next nine holes for that matter. Paul getting caught up there a little early. Solid rebound. What? I... You know... What? Ground play. That's all I'm gonna say, ground play. Ground play. Milky Way Galaxy member. JP Rollins meant to hit that tree. He told me. Galaxy sitting in third place right now in the Valley Forge Disc Golf League. New episodes coming out every Wednesday. Tyler, I wanted to contact you months ago to talk about us playing there. My players didn't want to go out, but next year there's a lot of talk about you becoming a GM. Sam Doyle was talking about it here yesterday. I'm excited for the future of the league. JP with the big hit here on whole time. Tyler, are you just daydreaming about being a GM now? Oh, I'm, I'm, day, I'm daydreaming. I'm I'm excited to see uh, see what this league's gonna be. Um, you know, I can't wait to see how many teams you guys get and uh, what it's gonna be. And there's so many options for uh, a gall layout for that 12 hole. Um, circuit this this is the perfect opportunity to talk about that i mean like scott howard mentioned this course was originally the blue and black track that was kind of when they looked at the land it was what they created dan doyle steve brinster so many great minds going into that track when you play holes like this i'm not exactly sure what black one this is tyler but it stretches safari from the last tee to this basket i believe that's right it's a par five all the way from 10 to 11. such a beautiful hole absolutely but here we go, hole 11, 264. Anything that gets past this log over this rock wall is a great drive. Um, you got two options off the tee, left gap or right gap. Jack Kuypers. Oh, wow. Going for that high turnover. Whatever. He's got the power to get that Luna over. This hole averaged a 2.78 in round one. Let's see how many birdies we can see on out of this group. Nuts. Great shape to that drive from James, but missed his line about 10, 15 feet inside. Not as round, he says. JP on the tee. Oh, that looks perfect out of the hand. There it is. There it is. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Josh has been hitting those ace runs all day today. Oh yeah. 
And no earth love for call of yes. zero. Kalinski at this point probably just trying to get that par three. That is a gorgeous S flight with the putter there. If getting a disc to slow down coming off that shelf is really difficult. As you can see, these guys are all going long. Jack is sitting on a five stroke lead with only a couple holes to go here on this back nine. And, uh. Go, Jack. No change, no start. Great putt from Josh Rollins. Continuing to find birdies out here on this par three course. Jack Kuypers trying to run away with this one. Oh, stuck it, count it. Basket love for James there. Yeah, he's sneaking in. Hanging tight. Difficult look for Kuypers here. Oof. Nice hit from Jack. High left there. Jack keeping score. I love that. Always is. Hole 12, par 3, 217. Tyler, this one's so sneaky. I don't know why. It feels like it's a difficult hole. It looks simple. What's going on here? So you really need a disc to go right to left. Now there's a high line. There's a low line. Um, usually something that skips is good. But... Uh, just gotta make sure you also make that first gap with this tee box now 10 feet further back than it used to be. Wow. I like that you added a little bit of extra difficulty by going backwards, because this, this tee was absolutely miserable before. It was so challenging to throw on. It was the worst tee on the course by far, and uh, now I think it's the best tee on the course. It's it's uh, definitely lifted up and, and made the- Love that you elevated it. Oh yeah, absolutely. Just absolutely beautiful. For you, for you course designers at home, you know, just enjoying <laughs> watching a man enjoy the fruits of his labor out here. It's, it's, it's a sight to behold. <laughs> no, get lucky. Solid height from James there, but he gets a little bit caught up. Paul Owens going super wide. That's very fortunate for Paul there. <laughs> he likes it. Here we go, Paul. Paul cracking a smile. Josh, been giving the basket some runs with that forehand. He's down by five. Definitely looking to put this one in. Ooh, unlucky. The tracking. But he gets caught up. Oh, good run. Paul Owens has hit so many baskets. Yeah, the apparatus hits are real. Jack Kuypers, knee pad out. Come on, this guy can't he, miss. He putted from a knee in round one on this hole, correct? Somebody? That's crazy, he did do that. It was a slightly different angle and uh, closer. But this one is great. Jack Kuypers is putting on an absolute display here in Mawa, New Jersey. A clinic. Yeah, you just love to see it. James Lowe, difficult to keep your foot on the pedal when one of your competitors is going this like, hard. I my, my ass like on the tree. And <laughs> on <your> <laughs> <laughs> really? Referee James. Yeah, referee James is here to save the day. That rule surprised me when I, I, I had an argument with somebody. I'm sorry, I was wrong. That was years ago. Way to get it around the tree, Josh. Big hit from JP. When you're hitting putts like that, you can afford to give the basket a good run. Really nice make here. Keeping himself in this tournament. That birdie bogey swing can come on any hole. It's a must hit distance here at Camp Gaw. Kuiper's getting another stroke on the majority of the field. All right, here we go. Hole 13, 233. Um, you've got 
really just a couple of trees to hit. This leaning tree is kind of your target off the tee. You want to just pass it and get over this rock into this green. Really hard to nestle into that green without flying past it. A lot of opportunities for some cool putts. Tyler, you had a really nice mer uh, birdie make here in round one. Right from that spot. Oh, that's kind of like a hit, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> he did go. Yeah, it's dangerous out here. That short par three course, you're getting a run for your money every time on catch. It's hard to put much better of a drive down there than that. I guess a little bit softer. I think putter is definitely the play. You want something that's going to be moving slow, that checks up nice. Anything else is going to usually skip away from the basket. Get in. James oh with that floaty God. line. That was tracking chains. He's got that finesse. Paul Owens has got quite a bit of finesse on that backhand. I don't know that I've seen him bust out a forehand yet today. I would agree with that. He's so slow and methodical in the tee box and so quick in the circle. JP, deep look. He knows he's going to have to run the majority of these uh, second shots if he wants to catch Jack. No. Speaking of Jack, no, there's the word layup does not exist for this man. He is up by six and he's still running everything. Look at the position he's put himself in. I, I love this aggression. Let's see if it pays off. Yeah. Not quite. Sorry, Jack. Oh, oh my just God. wide right and the door swings open, but James unable to follow through and he feathers that one off the top left side of the basket. Such a nice drive from Kalinski there. You can't ask for more off of this tee. Oh. And, and Jack is just saying, get me out of here at this point. Scorecard doesn't have pictures, but we certainly do this have a bunch of pictures. Yeah, like 600 pictures a minute, right? No, more than Jack is the first birdie of the round. We really, really should have uh, Hole 14, par 3, 291. We don't have the drone flight here, so we're just gonna show Jack Kuypers absolutely puring this hole. He misses a bit inside here, so you wanna try and keep things out a bit more to the left if you can, and just finish flat and do another rocky green here at Camp Call. Tyler, talk about the history of that boulder on the tee. I mean, that thing's huge. Yeah, this thing's been here as long as I've ever seen it, so I don't think it's ever moving either. Um, and to think that no one's ever hit that, Sounding I've hit that boulder. Greasy. I know several that have hit that boulder. I'm pretty sure I've hit it as well. I mean, it makes the forehand so challenging. James looks to be going with a putter here. That thing's flying like a rock, actually. A little bit inside. I have no idea where it went. Oh, I miss it. Chat continues to just throw Lunas on Heiser, and they're just turning over within seconds. Much anything from here. See how he handles that bogey on 13. He's in a tough spot. Get the popcorn ready, folks. Paul oh Elman's making another run for the basket from super deep this time. At this point, James has just got to go for the three. He could be within four strokes of Jack with four holes to go if he just gets that par here. JP looking for a little redemption, bogeyed this hole in round one. His only bogey of the round. Oh no. 
It has to be said again, Josh Rollins has been playing in Colorado for the last year. He's coming out into the tight wooded holes here at Camp Gall. And there is just an angel on James's shoulder out here. James really needed to see one go in after getting unlucky on the last couple. Paul with confidence. Yeah, I think, I think I'm further. Oh, great catch for Josh it's a here. Leaner. This basket is definitely leaning too. This is one of the ones that's on my <laughs> it's list. A high there. Yeah, you were celebrating. You're like, yes, that's a point for me when it goes in. Mm -hmm. I love it, and a point for Tim Gaber. I mean, just an absolute gentleman out there, working crew. You just love to see it. All right, moving on to hole 15, 316 feet. Definitely need another straight shot to get down this fairway. Uh, Mid-range and fairway driver, uh, both popular. Such an awesome hole. This one coming in at a 3.18 average. It's a very birdieable hole, but you can see how much Connor, uh, trouble Connor Henderson was in yesterday. Took a crazy roller to get out of there and save his oh car. Still one of the better shots. <laughs> if I didn't have the advantage of zoom, I would have been fooled as well. I was, yeah, very <laughs> I was looking nice at it going right over the basket. Very close. All right, things are heating up here, stepping into the final couple holes here at chapter three. One of our goals here was to get the field to be as competitive as possible. These are fairly new events. But you know, the more competition there is out there on the course, the better that win feels. Tyler, you were talking about how bad you wanted to win this one before we were filming commentary here. Talk about that. You know, there was a lot of hype coming into this event and uh, yeah, where I am now in this round, it, it's kind of coming to conclusion that it's probably not in the cards for me, but I'm looking at the PDGA Live watching Jack slay and I'm just hoping, you know, he does it for the boys. He holds on. These last four holes, it's easy to just have the wheels fall off on these last four. I love that. Paul Owens, a little bit wide right. Just such an amazing feat for Paul to make it on lead card here today. Big ups to him from the start. Nope. Josh. Missing opportunities on the green, so uncharacteristic compared to what we saw from yesterday. I'd say he's been a little bit cleaner off the tee here today, just not quite striking on the green. Jack Kuypers grabs another two. Jack and James setting the tone here. That four-stroke lead is looking a lot bigger when there's only three holes left. Big thank you to Axiom Discs for sponsoring the event. We had a putting competition in between rounds. James Kalinske cashing this one in with the soap. And he's taking home a basket today. Which he quickly tried to auction off back in the day. <laughs> yeah, he, James is such a hustler. What a great contribution to the sport. Eric Schubert is hunting Kuipers out here. We've got three to go. He has narrowed this lead to three strokes. Wow. Eric Schubert is the second highest rated player in this tournament, only five behind James Kalinske, and he is making a serious push. Tyler, are you going left or right on 16? I think forehand left side all day. There's a sneaky gap directly to the basket, but most of our players are going to be taking that left side. Eric Schubert looking for another birdie here on 16. And he cashes it in. This is a shotgun start. He's going to be finishing on one. And we're back. And we're back. So floaty. 
a little sawed off there, but he's got a death putt. Kuipers did not like that kick. It's going to be tough to get a look at the basket from back there. Josh Rollins with the pride of Colorado resting on his shoulders. Takes a forehand a little bit outside left. He has an uphill putt, but the putter's not really on for him. He's going to want to get closer to the basket if he can. At this point, even Kuypers has to be thinking three. Oh, absolutely. He just wants to get up on that shelf over the big rock. Nice up from Owens. Here it is, J.P. Rollins from circle two. Could narrow the gap to four. It's just not there. He made one from the bottom of the hill in round one. I mean, sure. what he's done here today is, is nothing short of amazing. To come out from Colorado, come here. Good James Good Referee Kalinski with the birdie. Now he's within three, stepping into 17. Kuipers has to be feeling the heat right now. He's even par through the last seven holes. All right, hole 17, the gem of Camp Gaw. This is a make or break hole. You gotta have something that is speed controlled and going down the middle of this fairway. And a quick shout out to Emily Moore for the ace on this hole. She aced this back uh, a few years ago, and uh, she's actually one of the competitors today, one of the only females to come out today. So shout out to her. Let's yeah, go. huge shout out to Emily. I, I wish you just said that she got the ace at the tournament and leave, left it at that, you know? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Schubert, not really where he wants yeah, to be. He's deep in circle two, has a look for the birdie. Like to each other. Right? Oh, it's like the friend's intro, you know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah. Now flash a picture <laughs> of a doll. On the, ca <laughs> on the couch at the fountain shit. Yeah, and they're just like all chopping it up, but you can't hear a word they're saying. Yeah. James, that looked like it had it. Really liked it. That last tree was the only thing blocking his ticket to circle one. Kuipers with a chance to gain another. He really keeps his thumb on the edge of that disc there. Oh. Also, Kuipers just texted me saying he loves the commentary and he said, I can't believe it took until 15 to mention the Cavs. Sorry, I just had a little bit there. <laughs> we tried to be uh, appropriate on this family channel. Big, hey, health is important. Jack Kuyper's been yeah. hitting the gym. There's no reason we can't promote that. <laughs> Great shot from Paul here. Straight down the middle of the fairway. That's a dream shot. One of the main reasons we started this channel was to get people an yeah, opportunity. Yeah. Not everyone can become a pro athlete in their life. My dreams were cut short like many others. We're going to give opportunities to everybody else out here as much as we can. And Paul Owens, I mean, he just might be uh, on his way to becoming a pro with the round he's had here today in round one. Unlucky forehand approach shot from Josh. Maybe he should go back to his Paul Balanich textbook. <laughs> and uh, dial that approach back in. Yeah, it's been a great day for JP nonetheless. James with a nice upshot here. 
Top four will be getting a trophy here. So at this point for Josh, he's just looking for that podium finish if he can. He wants to put on for the boys of Colorado. He wants to put on for the boys in Mawa. Always running it. Paul Owens. Let's see if Kuipers can make something crazy happen here from behind the bush. Oh, I threw that so soft. He had the right idea with that. But he'll take the par. Three stroke lead remains. Going into the last hole between Kuipers and Kalinski. Schubert unable to get the birdie on 17. We'll see what he does on 18. It's been a difficult back nine here. The pressure has definitely mounted on our lead card. No, no, you or me. Oh. Uh, you go for it. Woo! If I had two of those in one round, I'd be pissed. <laughs> Yeah, not the time. Hard for Jack Kuypers to be pissed as he's Mine did too. A little bit. just killing it. On our last hole, hole 18. Nice straight putter mid-range shot up the gut and just trying to have something nestle on these boulders on the green. Yeah, fantastic finishing hole. Another hole where there is treble off on the side. Here's Eric Schubert. Securing his birdie two after a fantastic drive here on 18. So he closes the gap on Kuipers. Hey man, all day is a lot of fun. There is now a two-stroke no, differential no, that with, someone? with one hole to go. Except if you're like, me and Jack were the first two no, 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 no. on their cover so far. Oh, really? JP talking about the only guy being uh, able to make it from feature two lead. I think he forgot about a little fellow by the name of Zachary Tasson. Feels great to say that name again. And Jack Kuypers. And Jack, well he said, he, me, he, him and Jack. Uh, I'm gonna blame that leaf. Uh, I'm gonna blame that leaf. It was an ace if it weren't for the leaf. <laughs> it was looking like it. Iron leaf. Grandma's leaf. Jack Kuypers, big pressure drive. His thumb sitting on the outside of that Luna. Real long from Jack, as we saw him and Josh both make bids of the basket from the tee box in round one. I'll blame that leaf too. I'm saying, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pleasure having Paul Owens out here. Same goes for Josh Rollins. Great disc golf from him. We saw him run the basket on 18 in round one. But Jack Kuyper's heading down the fairway. He's got a two-stroke lead on Eric Schubert right now. Schubert walking over to hole one. Let's see if he can move that lead up to three. A bit low. So Schubert will have the chance to knock down the ace. We saw how clean his backhand form is. He's here on the tee as the players come back in. Looking to become the Earth Champion. Eric Schubert, unable to guarantee the playoff or a win here. Inches from that ace, he's secured the two. Pressure turns back to Kuypers, who's sitting at about 18 feet and needs to hit this par to avoid the playoff. Jack Kuypers, very, very eager to get up to his lie and sink this putt to become the Earth Champion. The pressure has been mounting throughout this entire back nine. Jack Kuyper is looking to secure his first ever PDGA win. Safe to say, the biggest putt of his young life. Ten years into his disc golf career, just recently 
became a member of the PDGA. His rating has gone up and down quite a bit early on in his career, as is the case. We don't know much about his future yet, based on what we've seen. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Kuipers is your inaugural Earth Champion. Some of the greatest disc golf we've ever witnessed on this channel. Love the energy from all these guys in this card. Every player wanted to win so bad, but the ability to just maintain vibes that well. I mean, we saw James just being absolutely hilarious out there after a rough stretch of bogeys. Eric Schubert making a huge push in round two. Fantastic disc golf lefty. Talk to us. Yeah, it's hard to beat a 10.03 rated round two, neg eight. That's what Jack Kuiper has just put up. But it wasn't even a hot, uh, the hot round of the day. We saw Eric Schubert almost catch him off a chase guard, shooting 10 down in round two for a 10.27 rated round. I just want to give one more shout out to Dylan Cook, who was even coming into round two and scorched round two with a negative eight for a 10.03 rated round to finish off in fifth place. Good job, Dylan. And if I'm not mistaken, that was his third time ever playing the course. One of the best woods disc golfers New Jersey has to offer Dylan Cook is just won his first pro event last weekend at the Jersey Jam at Rutgers. What an amazing weekend it's been, Tyler. So many emotions, such a roller coaster. Talk a little bit about your feelings going into this weekend, and then of course talk about Jack taking down this tournament. My feelings going in, I wanted to win this thing really bad, um, <laughs> and I, I knew I, I definitely knew I could do it. It's just uh, you have to be on your game that day, and it, it wasn't my day. I still played really great golf. Uh, I was happy with how I played, but uh, you know, being able to see somebody like Jack, he's a newer PDGA member, and able to just hang on for the entire day is, is really great. You know, I got to see him on the backup of 17 and he was nervous, I could tell, and I just had to tell him, man, just, just hold on, we got this, just hold on, and he did it. So really happy I was able to give him some motivation and really happy he was able to seal the deal. It's been fantastic having you in the booth to get that perspective. A lot of what we were trying to do, you've been discussing, so it's just been a pleasure working with you on this tournament. Huge shout out to you and your crew, and a huge shout out to Jack Kuipers, your 2022 Earth Champion. There can only be one first Earth Champion. I'm very excited for the future of this event, uh, but let's get back over to Camp Car Reservation for the tournament ceremony. Wow, Jack, the Cavs did it on the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna take muscle to get up and down this mountain, and Jack showed his dominance out there today for sure. Lefty, before we head over to Camp Ball, what is the secret word of the day? There's only one correct answer. Let's see if you get it. Earth. Cavs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Drop a comment below. Everything's appreciated. Thanks a lot. Yeah, don't forget, guys, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment. Really appreciate everybody at Camp Call telling me how much they've been trying to spread the channel around. The comments, the likes, the subscriptions, it goes a really long way for us being able to get more views, more sponsorships, and throw more amazing, event amazing events like this one. We'll see you at Chapter 4 Water. Let's hear from Jack. We had 40 players coming out. Let's give a round of applause for everyone. Yeah. 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 We had some 80 rated players on lead card. Paul Owens coming out. 977 rated first round. Oh, 100 points yeah. above his own. Let's give it up for Paul. Let's go. Here we go, Paul. In fourth place, coming all the way out from Colorado with a minus nine on the day. We got our boy Josh Rollins. Place. Seeking that bag. One of the best players in this field. He hasn't found it yet, but we're going to see him at Greystone Woods in a month. Minus 13 on the day, averaging three strokes above his rating, below his rating, whatever you want to call it. James Kalinsky. Yeah. Yeah. 10.27. 10 
97. Few people will ever crest the 1,000 rated mark. And Eric Schubert may have left early, but he still remains in our heart with a minus 14 in second place. Wow. What a bagger. What a day it was today. Jack Kuypers got involved in the Valley Forge Sports Network Association this golf league thing a couple weeks ago. He was begging to be on feature card at his home course. Came out here, shot the hot round in round one. Came out, shot over a thousand rated in round two. With a minus 15 on the day and winner of probably the best looking pound bag the in best. the circuit. The the best. Best. We got Jack Kuyper. Yeah. 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 I just want to shout out Chris and the whole Valley Forge team. You guys are fucking sick. You guys are awesome. Uh, do a great job. Everybody wants to be here. You guys do. It's all about vibes. It's all about logistical things. And, you know, you guys handle all that. And we get to have fun. So thank you so much. Take a drink of the champions. Thank you. Before I'm done, I have to shout out the golf crew. Tyler, thank you so much for everything you do. Thank you back for us. Let's go. Some of the best shooting we've ever seen at Camp Golf. And we owe it all to Tyler McKinnon and crew. Let's give it up again. Do you have any final words to send us off on this beautiful day? This is a great day. Everything's been stated. Um, I love it when we come out here and do this kind of stuff. It, it makes me love the sport even more. So. Let's go. Thanks, yeah. Thank and one last thing. Three last things. For those interested, for those who just want to poke their eyes out with more disc golf, we got three... $20 gift cards to REI, MA3, MA2, MA1. We're going to have a putting competition on the practice basket for those interested. Nope. Thank you. Everybody likes free stuff, right? Yes, sir. I love camera. <laughs> Green gift card for Chapter 3. There's a theme going on here. This is, this is what I want to do. So Jack, go take that to the podium. So, yeah, I, I'll just stand up there by myself, baby. Yeah, you're all alone today. All right.